reading from the 35th verse. It says, therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance, say endurance. endurance. So that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. Hallelujah. So after you have done the will of God. What is the will of God? The word of God. You know, some people struggle all through their life trying to find out what is God's will for their life. All they have to do is get into here and read his last will and testament, his contract and covenant that he has between you and him, and you'll find out what his will is for your life, what his purpose is for your life. And as you discover your, your will, his will for your life and your purpose by knowing him, he will begin to prepare your path and lead you in the direction and open the doors and close the doors that needs to be opened and closed for your life and bring you to that place of your destiny. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But some people wander around all their life in the wilderness because they haven't taken the time to find out what his will is. And that is because they have not meditated and studied his word, which is his will for our lives. Amen. So he says... Don't cast away your confidence because it has great reward. When you have confidence in God and in his word, there's a great reward that comes with it. He says, for you have need of endurance. The word endurance means the ability to last. It also means to endure or stand the pain. We don't like that word pain. And we hear that term, no pain, no gain, right? So whenever you are stretching yourselves, there's going to be pain. Pain because you're going somewhere that you haven't gone before. You're using muscles that you never used before. You're doing things you've never done before. And so there's always going to be a stretch. But there's also going to also be sometimes pain in that process. But it develops endurance in your life. And endurance is necessary for us to to last the long haul of what God has prepared for us in the days ahead. Where we're getting ready to see some things transpire in our lives and in our <coughs> world that we are living in today. And this is the time that we should be utilizing to develop ourselves, to develop that endurance in our life so we can last Whatever comes against us, that we will be able to go through and last and be able to stand. And having done all to stand, the word of God says, to stand therefore. Yeah. Having your loins girded about with truth. Having on your breastplate of righteousness. All the things that he talks about as far as the armor of God is concerned is what we need to be dressed with always. Yeah. So we can stand. So this is the time that we want to develop the, that endurance in our life. So we have that ability to last, the ability to continue, the ability to withstand whatever pain that we are confronted with. You say, well, Jesus bore the pains for us. We don't have to bear that pain. We're not talking about that pain of suffering with sicknesses and diseases. It's the pain of standing and uh, becoming who you are in Christ. Let's read on. It says, For yet a little while, and he who is coming will come and will not tarry. Now the just. Who's the just? We are. We are. Why? Because we've been justified Amen. by faith through Christ Jesus. We've been made righteous. We are the justified. It says, Now the just, speaking about you and I, shall live by how? Faith. faith. But if anyone draws back, he says, My soul has no pleasure in him. So if anyone draws back, draws back from what? From faith. Hebrews 11 tells us in this sixth verse, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. So if you draw back in faith, he, has, he doesn't have pleasure. Because the only thing that pleases him is faith. Without it, it's impossible. Say impossible. Yes. I mean, there's no way for you to able 
be able to please God without you exercising your faith. Releasing your faith. 